Hi everyone, welcome back to the Galactic Green Genocide featuring these cute little guys in their effort to take over the galaxy in Heinlein patch 1.3 with the Leviathan Story DLC. When we last left off, we were trying to build up a force to take on the... What are these guys called again? The Sovereign Saigan Colonies. Need to go back to fast speed here. I hope to do a few different videos today. If you are watching on the 20th, by the time these videos are out, you should be able to buy the Leviathan Story Pack and the Heinlein Patch should be out. So everything you see here on the screen, you should be able to do yourself. We're actually over our limit a little bit and I think we need to change up some of what we're doing System survey complete. on our planets. At least maybe on our home planet. Let's take a look at Shiraka. So someone mentioned in the last video that it seemed like research was taking longer and that's actually because in Heinlein the requirement for every single tech has been increased. So you're gonna spend longer on each tech. Because of that I think I need to change a bit of my strategy for how I handle this. I have too many minerals, well, too many energy credits, but plus 18 minerals is pretty strong. So I think what I want to do is replace this with a science lab. And I need to build a few of these so that I can get back to kind of faster research because 210 months on a destroyer is just too long and you know I might have expanded too quickly I don't feel like I did but I might have extend expanded too quickly and that's causing a bit of the problem if that is the case that's fine I can I can survive on Corvettes for a little while and in fact I think I might want to continue to build my fleet let's take a look at that anomaly an abandoned ship has been left to drift aimlessly above this planet. The massive sails protruding from its hull suggest that it relied on solar power to function. Let's go ahead and research it. It is up here in the Iblaria Ib system. These names, man. Construction ship is still on standby. We should be able to pick up this soon, hopefully as we continue to expand here and we'll see what's going on there. So that's almost done. I think we want to replace one more. We'll lose three. Let's go ahead and build one more here. Ah, we have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Ibleria 3. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. A little bit of engineering research gained. Not very much. Hmm. Maybe I have to finish, let this finish first? For some reason it's not letting me queue up a replacement. Whoops. Oh, I had already done it. No, no, no. Stop. Stop that. Replace it. I don't want to upgrade it. Is that going to upgrade? That's not what I wanted to do. Cancel. Now we will replace it. There we go. So that's going to actually increase my output by quite a bit. Oh boy. The native life on Karagos Prime, which is here, the planet that I recently settled, 
is built on an epic scale, far larger than anyone previously thought was possible for biological life. The question now of the on the minds of our researchers is, what is their secret? How can we benefit from it? Proposals to study the native life in greater detail are flooding in. We can get a special project, harvest them to get food, or leave them be. Let's issue a special project. 1,000. Hmm. 80 months. That's a long time. I think I will leave that be for now. Now focus on other things. Scientist is level 3. That's one of our researchers, I believe. Yes. Yes. Our scientist here actually can complete this project now. So when he's done, we will do this research project. He actually just leveled up. That's quite handy. Naval capacity is growing. We are still considered equivalent. It will stay that way, I'm sure, until we actually go to war. Which is fine. By the way, someone asked in the last episode why I was not building my higher tier Corvette. Did I build it? System survey complete. Did I end up building it? I thought that I had not. Oh, upgrade. Yeah. We'll do that. No, wait. I don't need to do that. No, I don't need to upgrade it yet. Anyway, let's take a look at this anomaly. An unusually deliberate geometric configuration of minerals drifts through the debris belt by 49F784 and is possibly of alien origin. 0% risk. Let's take a look. Wait, where, where did that pop up? Oh well. Let's go ahead and build a few more ships. There we go. And the surface tile is almost done. Oh, let's unpause it. There we go. Once that's done, I'll have seven in each. And that should, yeah, see, so we were at, that was a big part of the problem. We were at 210 months, and this keeps fluctuating, this keeps changing. Maybe because we had st some stored, yeah, we have some stored going on. However, this was, de this was insanely high. And even the one point has changed it drastically. Well, okay, now it's back up to 140, well, 142. Found that anomaly, level up. We have Xeno Zeus now, which is very nice. Hey, we can unlock terraforming already. That was actually something in the patch notes, was that terraforming could pop up much earlier. Planet unique, extra happiness. So we have two things now to generate happiness for us. I think terraforming might be better. We can turn every planet we come across into something perfect for our geckos. Although terraforming is quite costly, so maybe I won't do that. Well, this is a rare tech, and the extra happiness does seem like a good idea, so let's try that. Okay, we're done with our surface construction. Unemployed. Oh, I accidentally deactivated it somehow. There we go. Now we are at seven. Well, it didn't bring it down that much. Crystal Codex. The mineral cluster is a holographic record, multi-sided, mini-edged, and translucent. It remains secure in the ISS Trum Olamans tractor beam, but our experts will need some time to decode its contents. A special project has been issued to expedite the process. Uh, let's start the special project. 
good. It doesn't cost anything to do. Wait, come back. Go ahead and perform that special project. And then... Wasn't there one down here somewhere? We'll get to it later. So I am curious now. I want to go ahead and jump into combat a little bit. We are over our limit. If I can lock them down right now... I might be able to kind of surround their planet so they can't get a foothold anywhere else. Special project complete. Oh, right. Requires alien pets on the tile. Okay, well. I didn't... That, I, so I couldn't do anything with that, but that's okay. Cause we're getting the other happiness one, and this will come into play later. The holographic data documents the terms and conditions for a trilateral trade treaty between three major alien powers that once dominated the quadrant of the gal this quadrant of the galaxy. Context eludes us, and the details are meaningless, but science officer Torba Malice feels that this find will prove invaluable to improving our ability, our own ability to communicate with alien forces. Got some experience? Torba Malice now has expertise statecraft and some research. So I think I want to build another science lab here. And once we have some other planets and some other tiles open with populations there, we can kind of expand on that. And actually, might be a good idea now to go ahead and do that here. And we can always shift around buildings later. All right. So we are at 26. I think it's time. They do have a second planet now, which is okay, but they're not allied with anyone. And I think it's time to become the aggressor. So let's send our ships here for safety. We'll move our fleet a little bit closer. And then we will go ahead and declare war. The goal is to just straight up seed everything that they have. War score cost of 92. That's maybe actually more difficult than we can pull off. A war score of 59 seems a lot better. I could make them a tributary. Or just vassalize them, but vassalizing is going to cost a lot as well. So let's focus for now on just taking a single planet from them. So we'll head straight over. I'm still positive on both energy credits and minerals, which is quite good. And I want to go ahead and prep some armies. Obviously, they're going to be assault armies. I can only afford two for now, but I will need them. All right, so we're making the journey. To Sidegar, their home planet. And how are we looking? Okay, so they looks like they actually do have a bigger... No, just their, it's just their spaceport. But their spaceport plus their fleet is going to be hard to crack. So instead, what I might do is I might try to bait them to see if I can get them to come to me. My fleet is larger than theirs, which is good. I just don't want to fight it and the spaceport at the same time. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go ahead and take out their wormhole generator. That way they can't get out easily. Hostile fleet engaged.
And if they attack my territory, that's okay as well. Because I'll have this and I can return with my fleet to make it even stronger. After her recent victory in the Ossidan system, Admiral Torba Hasseldra has started emphasizing the importance of speed and rapid maneuverability or maneuvers in her briefings. The Gale Speed Trait. Evasion, sublight speed, and combat speed. Very nice. That's quite good. Let's go ahead and head over to bombard the planet. I'm feeling pretty confident in what's going to happen here. Uh, let's go ahead and build a few more armies. That's three. I'm going to need maybe seven or eight, I think, to take the planet without any trouble. And away we go. I realize that my war score was for the other planet. However, I am gaining what I need just by doing this. The blockade is giving me 11, and if I actually occupy it, it will give me even more. Okay, so my station's under attack now. Are they here? So that's a single science ship. Are they elsewhere? I don't see them. Except for here. Yeah, so the science ship is attacking. I actually don't know what the strength of a science ship is. Five military power, so I should be okay here. Let's take a look at Bugden. They only have four armies, so I should be able to win if I bring six for safety. Currently have two, three. Oh, did I build a defensive one? Is that what I saw? No, no. Okay. So I'm mostly just doing this again. I don't really want this planet right now. It's mostly just to... trick them. Not trick them necessarily, but either get them to spit, split up their... Okay, so they've actually showed up now. They have a bigger fleet than we do. So I think what I want to do is I want to flee this way. And that's good to know that they have a larger fleet. That means that I need to beef mine up a little bit. I'm surprised they've gone they've gone really far past their cap. Because I'm at 22 and with three different systems. And so they've got to be far above it probably losing, hopefully losing out on a lot of money. Very good, very good. Let's head back to here. I'm gonna have to cripple some of their infrastructure, I think, just to kind of get them to fold a little bit. We have all of our armies now. We can't do too much with them yet. But we do have them. I don't know if I clicked on defensive. I might have. Who knows? Okay. We're going to go ahead and take out this guy. And eventually it will become too expensive for them to kind of continue to build ships 
Okay, they have a non-aggression pact complete. with these guys. The Netraxi Covenant. Okay, we've got a new ship. Uh, what I should have done is I should have set this guy as a rally point. I'll do that now. And then we will... Can we right-click rally? It may not work. Oh, okay. Looks like they've arrived. So we might have a battle after all. Uh, I don't think I want to engage both at the same time. I'm surprised they got here so fast. So let's just turn and hope that our Admiral is better suited for combat. Okay, excellent. We did win the day, which is quite good. We lost a lot of our ships, however. I think that's going to be okay. We will just, as quick as we can, replace them. Let's take a look at our other worlds. This is going to be a bit of a longer battle, I think, which is fine. They should rally automatically. Let's merge these guys. Hostile fleet engaged. There we go. Okay, let's take a look at these systems here. Yeah, good. I, I do need to build some buildings. I think what I want instead here is this guy. And then he can build... Well, he can't afford it right now. But we will soon be able to build a mining network. But I want him there to pick up the uh, the minerals. Same thing here. That's good. They'll pick those up. Good. So we're in a pretty good spot. I was hoping I didn't have to do this, but I am okay that it came down to this. We have blue lasers. I think it would be worth it to go upgrade. If we can. Physics lab, research speed, energy storage, power plant. Hmm. I don't love any of these, but I think administrative AI is the way to go here. That way, everything else that I research for the rest of the game will go better. How am I at zero? Shouldn't that fight have given me some war score? Nah, who knows. Uh, let's take a look at the ship designer. We could auto-best this. It's automatically been upgraded to the small blue lasers. So, if we take our fleet... We can upgrade. That is good. I think I'm safe. Well, I don't want to risk it, so... Nah, I won't do it. I was thinking I could send my... My ship out to explore some more of my science ship, but I don't feel comfortable doing it yet. So I think we'll wait on that. I do think it is worth it to go ahead and build now a mineral silo here. Not a mineral silo. Yeah, a basic mine. Yes. And now we're waiting for our ship to upgrade. This upgrade should give us a pretty good advantage. We're going to rebuild our fleets probably about the same time. So all in all, I think the war is going pretty good. Again, it's going to take a little while because I don't have an overwhelming advantage, but that's fine with me. So we got all of our ships. We're going to upgrade them. Can we see... I, th I thought there was a way to see how fast the upgrade was going to take. But it may not. Fully repaired.
Oh, preparing. Oh, they can't even afford it yet. So we're currently waiting. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and put in a pause right here. However, my plan is to re release several more videos today. I'm not sure on the exact number, but give you guys plenty of footage for to just kind of celebrate the release of 1.3 uh, patch and the Leviathan Story DLC. So thank you guys so much for joining me for this episode. I'll be back in a few hours for about another 30 minutes of gameplay. I hope to see you then.